Brian Lawler versus Six Pack. Terrible match. Mm-hmm. Just hey, at least Six Pack's back after he dislocated his hip. That's true. Still limping though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So, got to make that cheddar. They're having this crappy match, and Lawler comes out with April, wants her to slap Six Pack, but she won't do it. And the uh, crowd is calling her a crack whore and other horrible things. And uh, then Lawler calls her something much, much worse than that. Yeah. And Top imme- of his lungs. Shouts it, yes. Even the crowd was uncomfortable. Yep, yep. This crowd. So Six Pack pins him with the X Factor in five horrible minutes. He grabs April. Because he won her. He won her. Yeah. She's his prize. Claimed that uh, she had claimed he forced himself on her. He denied this, but he grabs her celebrates with her, and then pulls her up the stage with, let's just be honest here, two big old handfuls of titty. Yeah. yeah. He literally was standing behind her, and he was holding her just like this with two hands right on her yeah. boobs. God. So, Brian Lawler then has... I honestly don't know if we're supposed to think it was fake or not, but he, he has a heart attack. And I don't know if it was supposed to be funny. <laughs> it was funny. Or he's just that <laughs> terrible an actor. No, Vinny. Like, fuck me. So so his woman gets stolen and groped on the stage. Mm-hmm. And so his plan to get her back <laughs> is he's going to have a heart attack. He's going to be so stressed out that she has left him that he has a heart attack. A so he plan. does the most preposterous, absolutely preposterous, ridiculous pretend heart attack you've ever seen. He takes a, a nasty plunge back bump, grabs his chest. I think the fans are chanting for a doctor or something. Actually, Philip here thinks they were chanting "die," but anyway, yeah. uh, she's she's fooled and she runs down to the ring to make sure that he's not going to die. And uh, this was the biggest absolute <laughs> pile of shit. <laughs> this was the breaking point for those of you like someday you're going to look back and go, "Remember when those guys reviewed NWA TNA for uh, you know twenty horrible wretched weeks? What was the fucking breaking point?" Well, it was this match. It's the breaking point <laughs> for me least a couple weeks ago we talked about uh bg james doing his uh, pump handle slam and and yeah. thrusting into his opponent right there's a moment in this match where xbox is delivering the bronco buster and then he stops yeah and then he thrusts his penis into the guy's face hmm. several times that happened do you guys this is a tournament match by the way this is they're fighting for a world championship match mike Tenay has a sit down with truth now, this is one, I could have sworn that as of late, Mr. Wrestling 3 has been attacking like Kurt Hennig. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Apparently. Are we supposed to know? Apparently, Truth claims Mr. Wrestling 3 got one over on him. He has a contract offer for 3. Uh, he's, he is upset that Bob Armstrong has approved his contract offer, but he's going to give it to Mike Tanay, and Mr. Wrestling 3 can go to Tanay, get the contract signed, and get a title match. Is it that he attacked Henning be- to get Truth disqualified? I think that's the way it went. I, I, I don't know. It's all a big, ugly, stupid blur. I don't know. So Jared then comes out to the ring, demands today get in the ring. This was the dumbest fuck. If I hadn't quit over the last segment, I'd have quit over this segment. Mike today is in the ring, okay? And he has a contract for a World Heavyweight Championship match for Mr. Wrestling 3, okay? Mr. Wrestling 3 is going to get a shot at Truth's title. So Jared comes out and he goes, it's been 20 weeks, I haven't gotten a shot, but finally here is a contract for a World Heavyweight Championship match. So then he says, yes, all you have to do is sign it, and you'll get your championship match. And the announcers say, it's the moment of truth. If he signs that contract, that means he is Mr. Wrestling 3. Is he going to do it or not? And Jared gets the contract, and he gets the pen, and then he drops the pen, and he tears up the contract. And then he says, I am going to get my championship match in two weeks. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess it turns out that there's a tournament, and so he's going to win a match next week, and then he'll get a shot at the title the week after yeah. because he won the tournament. I yeah. think that's what he's saying. Yeah. But 
Like, you're watching it, it's like, so you tore up your contract for the title shot, but you're going to get the title shot anyway. That's what we're talking about here? It's like, why does he care if he's Mr. Wrestling 3? Why didn't he just sign the fucking contract? Who gives a shit? Yeah, and then get two it, matches. If yes. you lose the first one. I think it was implied that if he signed the contract, he'd be admitting that he was Mr. Wrestling 3. Yeah, so, I know. Who cares? He's a heel. Who gives okay. a shit Sign the Mr. Contract. Wrestling no, hold 3? On, hold on, hold on. The contract was for Mr. Wrestling 3 getting the title Right. Shot. I know. So if he signed it, he would be admitting that he's Mr. Wrestling 3 and he would be right. getting so the title he, shot. So, so why but if he's that? lying, who cares? He signed it. Like, I don't get what the big deal is. If Mr. Wrestling 3 committed, like, a homicide, and it was like, okay, you signed the contract, get a title shot, but the fucking cops are coming after you now, that'd be one thing. But that's not the case. It's just a guy in a hood. That's it! So then what? He signs, and he gets a championship match, and then some bloke comes out and goes, no, I'm Mr. Wrestling 3. It's like, fuck you! What, what? you got a hood? Like, Anybody oh, can get a hood. All of a sudden, Jarrett wants to be all fair and... Yeah, isn't he a about heel? this thing, but he just destroyed Kurt Henning last week. Exactly, and he's a heel, isn't he? Why is he an honorable babyface heel? Why? Because the show sucks. And I'm not watching it again. And you know what the icing on the shit cake is? Mike Tindy goes back to the table, sits down, and says, "Folks, Jeff Jarrett tore up that contract, but it's okay. I got another copy." <laughs> 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 five man, five way elimination I match. I hope that Mr. Wrestling 3 shows up and signs that damn paper. That is also a tables match. So we're told it's a five way, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so Kid Cash comes out. The SATs come out. That's three. Tony Mama Luke is the fourth man. The bell rings and the match starts. <laughs> and I, I shake my head. And I rewind and I check. And by the way, rewinding the TNA app sucks. Yeah. They say it's a five way. Four guys come out and start fighting. I feel like Jean Luc Picard in a Cardassian, Cardassian torture chamber. There are four lights. So eventually, A Steel comes out as the fifth guy. Isn't that fucking hard to count to five and then ring the bell? Why is everything yes, difficult Vinny, in this company? It is that hard because this show sucks. It's a pile of shit. So they're doing... I will never watch it again. They're doing big moves and setting up tables and jumping off tables and nobody goes through them for a while. My favorite part of this match is when there's a table like in the corner and somebody gets power bombed off the top rope or chokes them off the top or whatever and lands in the ring and Don West says, man, if that table had been three feet closer. So anyway, uh, A Steel gets DDT'd through a table. If only the ground was a giant table. <laughs> Tony Mamaluke dives over a table to hit a DDT on the ramp. Uh, he gets moonsaulted through a table. So it's Kid Cash versus both SATs. I thought Cash was a heel, and the SATs were baby faces. Regardless, <laughs> he's fighting them both and making a comeback. And Rana is one of them off the top rope through the other two tables to win and get a title shot. But hey, nobody chanted "We want tables." I was so over this by this point. I was just a zombie watching the rest of this show. A thing that drives me crazy in these elimination matches is when, in this match, they were doing a Tower of Doom spot and Kid Cash broke it up. Why would you want your opponents not to destroy your other opponent? Right, I don't know. It's dumb. Mama Luke was announced at uh, 222 pounds. <laughs> That's a lot. Was he carrying another man on his back? <laughs> Which, see, I found Maybe unlikely. they meant 122 pounds. No, he said 222. There's also that moment when uh, Mama Luke DDT'd Jose onto the ramp, and you could hear his head thudding onto the ramp. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. Very loudly. And actually, Mama Luke, when he got, uh, yeah, when he was when the moon salt through the table, his, his head was just smashed like a melon. Yeah. Just landed right on his head. That sucked. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.